How's it going? So I got a build request and it was for my PowerTech. So now that I've gotten a chance to play it, play the class a little bit, I can I can think I feel like I can talk about the rotation and the setup in PvP. Now I haven't had a chance to test out the tank spec. Um, I've played a little bit with this spec. This is the dot spec. So I've had fun with the advanced prototype spec because I like playing melee type of classes and it has a feel to, to melee. It's kind of close range. Everything's, you know, four meters or ten meters or less. And you get this retractable blade shank, so it kind of still feels like you're playing melee. So I think I should go over at least the first frustrating part about it. Power tech, and that's the bug that, that exists right now for it. Now, aside from doing a jet charge and then it takes the cooldown and then you don't actually charge, I'm still trying to figure out what causes or instigates that. Um, that's a little frustrating too. Sometimes you can pull with a zip line and they don't get pulled and they are not immune to CC, so that's another bug. So those two bugs exist, but the main one for advanced prototype is where when you go to use your energy burst at a maximum of four stacks, it just does no damage. It does the amount of damage of one stack. So, it took me a while to figure out, but basically what it is is this, if you zone in to a war zone or anywhere, and you have this one stack like this lingering, you're gonna get the bug. Because you're gonna go pop, you're gonna go try and do your damage rotation and then throw on the stacks on top of it but it's gonna keep it at one and so no matter what it doesn't matter what you're doing with your spec now I don't know if it's the spec that instigates it and I'll go over that in a sec so basically what the habit you want to get into because if you notice yourself going through your damage rotation you do a really small damage number even though you have four stacks it's because of this buff or this bug so all you have to do is take that off if you ever see one stack like that after you've zoned in, just take it off and now you're fine. You'll, you can go through damage rotation. So, now I think I can show show some of the damage, you know, so um, just off the bat, right? So, so what I want to describe is how this tactical is very important. I mean, this is pretty much what centers around. If you look at what it says, it says energy burst critical chance is increased by 100%, so always crits. And power yield builds four energy loads. And so right when you pop power load, or sorry, where is it? Not power load. Energy, yeah. <laughs> power yield. Uh, power yield, you pop that. It's a way that you can control getting four stacks. So your main burst move is energy load. So, as you're rail shotting, you're going to be getting a stack of this buff. goes all the way up to four. At four, you now have the maximum damage energy burst. Everything else you're doing is setting up energy burst. So, you're going to retractable blade. That puts a dot on them. The dot makes it so that they take more damage. Then, you're going to sunder them. Sunder. Increase damage. Okay. Now, every time I rail shot... I get one stack of energy load, so I can just go through that rotation. Now every six seconds, every six seconds that I use retractable blade, rocket punch, uh, and another one, I forget, it's somewhere in there. It's gonna reset the cooldown, and, oh, I forgot, and this. Uh, it's gonna reset the cooldown of rail shot. Every six seconds, so if you do it too fast, it won't reset it. So, I get another rail shot in there. Now I've got two stacks of energy load. Okay, let's get another rail shot. Three stacks of energy load. Okay, so now all my back bar is usually, um, this is a buff. This is a, these two are CC. See how they're right above each other? So that's a CC, that's a CC. Um, let's get another rail shot in here. Now I've got four. So now that I have four, I can pop energy load. It's glowing around it. And then you get... An energy load. Now, I didn't have any... I, I should have had... Okay. Now, if I want to control it... And you can throw the grenade in there. So you're going to want to put the grenade on. I guess I should go over just the full... Full rotation. Top bar is main usage. Back bar is utility, CC, and buff. I do an intuitive setup with the buttons. So, 1 through 5. And then I do F... 
G E Q R T. Same thing goes for the back bar. And you have to do shift one, two, three, four. That's an easy, easy shift. These are bound right here to my mouse. And um <laughs> and so for example, G the G stands for guard, so I usually put a defensive move in G. R is like run. So for warriors in World of Warcraft, I had charge on R. Uh, similarly, on the back bar on R, I can also pull them towards me. So it's sort of so all of my characters are are keybound like this. So it's an intuitive keybind system. So that way, when you come into a new character, um, it's not as hard to digest, you know, what all the keys do, because they're going to be put in a same in a similar location where I've got my builders and then spenders and then CC. And then these are defensive. And then also I do AOE sometimes on the back bar. All right, so the full rotation. I'm going to charge in. I'm going to... You can shank or rocket punch. Rail shot. Uh, throw that in. Also load your shoulder chart. Your... your uh, oh, there they are. The little the little shoulder guys. I put that on the thumb, thumb button. I'm popping this thumb button all the time during combat because these little rockets are going to be healing you. Um, so yeah, you jump in, and then you just go through your rotation. Pop your buffs on yourself. You can save those buffs when you have a big cooldown. And now, since I'm going to lead off, time to go over the next step. That's just the basic steps. Power yield, utilizing power load in combination with combustion chamber. So... Let me go over what this is, because this is really the trifecta for this spec. Is you have power load in conjunction with pop and power yield, and then you've got this combustion combustion chamber, which only lasts. Oh, you get the buff for 30 seconds, so it'll make it so that power power yield lasts for up to 30 seconds if you're getting attacked, which while under the effects of power yield will build you energy load so it gives you 30 seconds when you're getting attacked by people that you'll just be be building these energy load stacks like crazy so when combat starts in pvp you're gonna pop everything because people are gonna be attacking you so you fly in throw your grenade that's fine shank them boom right there punch them in the face boom all right now Four stack. All right, so now I got a burst. Now he's going to be starting to attack me. So since this guy's not attacking me right now, I'm not building those bursts. But imagine right after I just popped that four burst, I have another four bursts lined up. Some of these things, it can be like 56K, 56K. So you do 100K within, I mean, think about that. That's fast. That's fast damage in a war zone that you're coming in. And you can heat up really fast by doing that. All right, you got to pump those brakes. Or... Use thermal sensor override. So I put that underneath power yield. Because you use that right before, then they're attacking you. It makes it so it, the next next ability generates no heat, lasts 15 seconds. That's gonna that's gonna cool your heat. Every time you rail shot, that's gonna be venting heat. You also have a vent heat move. Additionally, my spec, I guess I can go over the spec now, that you understand that essentially in the DPS, you're gonna fly in, act like a warrior. Put your little grenade on, rail shot to your heart's content, use power yield every time it's up on cooldown, build the max stacks, go to town, keep your dots up on there, and then just, if they're not attacking you, you just have to keep rail shotting. That's the only way to buff or build, build energy, or the, uh, the stacks of energy load. Um, you're gonna wanna, and then you're gonna be taking heat, so then you've got your defensive cooldowns. I've got this. Uh, this is uh, when you get stunned or you're really low, and then you can break out a CC. I mean, they've got every. It's got ev the power tech has every tool in the book, especially when you compare them to, um, you know, like the guardian, for example, does everything the guardian can do, with the exception of this being at two minutes and not a minute thirty, that I can get it down to. Now my setup. This is very important. You're gonna you're gonna be spamming moves, building heat like crazy. So. You vent 20 heat when stunned, immobilized, knocked down, otherwise incapacitated. 100% you need that. 
When close and personal is triggered, you will also deal 3,225 elemental damage to the attacker if they're within 10 meters. What the heck is close and personal? Well, close and personal is this. Passive. So it's a passive move. Increases the duration of energy shield. In addition, suffering direct damage from an area attack vents to heat and heals you for 2.5% of your health. Happens every three seconds. So you got to go into the mix. You're sort of melee. You've got to be close to people anyways. You're going to be right in there. That means that you're going to be tossing some extra passive damage out. No brainer. Um, this is a movement speed slow. I like that in PvP. This is probably a flex spot. So you can reduce cooldown. Yeah, you can increase some of that other stuff. That's that's a flex spot right there. I like moving fast. The, the power tech was already mobile. Has multiple mechanisms to get around good. This is a flex spot. But I like having movement speed. I, I couldn't think of anything better, really. Um, you know, uh, the Shatter Slug might be very good for comp. I've been running War Zones, so... Uh, when activated, energy shield ignites in a blaze. This is just extra passive damage. On a cooldown, you're going to be using quite often. And it synergizes sort of with the reflective armor. Efficient suit. Um, allows you to use the cultal overload when you're stunned. That's why I said I was a stun user. And so you can, you're, you're in trouble. You're stunned. You pop that. Also, if you're really low, it's another passive health regeneration. Um... And then this also increases the range of shoulder cannon grapple. That's always good. Now, all right, pressure overrides. Uh, oh, that makes it so that when you uh, pop explosive fuel, which is which will be tied into Meteor Brawler set, if you notice, that's how I proc Fireball. So that's a, a key um, cooldown. It makes the range up to 20 meters of all of those listed moves, which is really good. Because in PvP, people are going to be getting distance on you sometimes. You'll get CC'd. It happens. Now, shield cannon. Damaging a, char a, a target with your shoulder cannon. So you're pop that's why I said I'm, popping the I'm pressing my thumb, bu thumb button all the time in, in the middle of combat because it, doesn't it goes around global cooldown. It shoots these little tiny missiles. And then uh, they heal you for 3% each. And you can get up to like 7 of them. So that's 21% of your health that you can get back. And you don't have any healing, so pretty much need that. Um, now, this is this combustion chamber is a big part of the spec. So uh, for advanced prototype, you're going to need combustion chamber. Essentially, it makes it so that you can maintain power yield for 30 seconds. Power yield is how you're going to access this power load right here. If you look, it makes energy burst 100% crit, and right when you pop it, you get four of the energy loads. Um, and it says you build an energy load stack, um, getting critically hit. So that sort of synergizes in. So the three parts of synergy, tactical, uh, this spec, and then this move right here. And uh, once I get all of this, so then stats, yeah, I mean, you're going to be wanting to get, uh, the critical is already at 43%, so I'm going all alacrity. Alacrity is tied into venting heat when you're at max, although I don't get max that often. Um, so you you want about like 42% crit. Usually the standard is 3200 critical, 1200 alacrity, and then the rest. I don't know if you can get the rest. That was what one of my other characters is. This is this looks a little higher. I've got higher alacrity right now. 43% crit though is fine. Um, and so I think that that kind of does it for... Now, you've got other moves that are popped in there. Inter you can interrupt. You got a little little pistol shot. You know, when you're, you, got, you got too much heat. You got to do that little pistol shot. You can grapple. You can... Now, Sonic Missile is tied into one of the moves. Sonic Missile. So, it's a taunt. But I put it up on my front bar because it also procs that, like, your defense is increased. So it does help a little bit with survivability. Also, the taunting in this game, it forces you to target that character. So it's good in PvP. That's what I'm trying to say. Ah, uh, nothing like good coffee in the morning. Alright, so I think probably the best thing to do is... You know, usually when I come into a spec, I like to set up my bars in that same standard way. 
and then I go through and, I, and and actually first I just kind of intuitively spec this. Then I'll go into a game and after I've played a couple games, I'll come back out and I'll look at this talent tree because then I'm familiar with the what I've been using and what is prioritizing things. Then I like to come in and then just start hovering over and reading each of these individually. Um, it's kind of hard to do that all of that prior to even any gameplay. So I, I do like to pop into one game and kind of just blind go through trial by fire. And, and then you can kind of remember what you were pressing, what was doing what, and then you can go back and look at these moves. Um, because I have played a few characters now. Power Tech was my fourth class. I had played Guardian, and even back in the day, I played Mercenary and a few others. But Guardian, Shadow, um, Scoundrel, I played all of those, and I bound the keys all very similarly. So it was not that difficult to change around between the two of them. Now, compared to the Guardian, the Guardian is fun because you have a lightsaber. I really like that look, you know, behind the character. You've got that one sword kind of rolling around with a cloak. Very cool. Um, but as far as domination in PvP, the power tech is really insane. It's all single target damage, and you can do more damage than people that are trying to, to spread dots and AoE. So it's really, really crazy. And then the Meteor Brawler set is going to give an extra AoE potential and 10% damage boost. So damage is going to go up even further. Now that being said, the Power Tech is still one of the classes that in comp would not necessarily be looked at as the strongest. I think it's probably middle tier. Because the strongest classes in comp are ones that can stealth and reset themselves in combat. Those are the most powerful. You can watch a Marauder that knows what he's doing, and he can reset himself like three times. I mean, and then he's back, he's back fighting at full. Um, shadows are even worse because a Marauder will come out of stealth if you don't watch where they go, so they'll pull it off in combat. Shadows can just disappear. Same scoundrel, same thing. Um, Shadow can actually do it more. They're, they're way more of a stealth-capable class, I would say. So, and they're just going to, and, and honestly, that sniper, like the sniper and the gunslinger, they'll just pop, they'll post up. You can't charge them. Uh, they're immune to all the stuff. They dodge everything. They're just sitting there sniping. But I don't really like playing as a class that's ranged. I like being in there duking it out, you know, just feeling uh, feeling like I'm in their melee. That's pretty much all the classes that I enjoy playing. I wouldn't necessarily enjoy sitting back as a sniper necessarily. That's just my preference. But in all games, ranged has always generally had an advantage. Now, where you see it, well, you see it really bad is Elder Scrolls Online because there's no penalty to being ranged. Everything that you can do it, in fact, you can do everything that you can do in melee better at range. That's one of the downsides that I felt about Elder Scrolls. I was trying to melee and it's, you're totally outclassed by some of the range classes. No question. They're just, they're at range, just pressing the same buttons you are and they kill you like way faster and they're farther away. So there has to be some give and take. Usually, you know, you'll have, you'll be more tanky, you'll, you'll make the casters glass cannons. There's different mechanisms. Okay, so maybe I can go in and then just do one war zone where I'm explaining some of the button rotations just so you can see what happens and, and see it in action. Hopefully it's not too long of a queue. Queue all this up at once. A lot of damage right there. And you can... And then by now, I probably would have had another couple stacks if that guy was attacking. Boom. See, that's at 9,000 damage. Now imagine 9,000 damage every time you do it. That's when you have the bug. And then you pop this one, Magnetic Blast. So when you don't have Shank, because that puts a long dot, you punch, that's on cooldown. And see, I can't rail shot right now. This magnetic glass also is one of the things that procs an extra rail shot every six seconds. So all you have to do is kind of wait. You can kind of shoot. This this is free. Rapid shots is free. That's why I put this on this bar. It's 100% free. It doesn't require any heat. So if you're ever in between a rotation or a cooldown, throw in rapid shots. That's all you got to do. 
Because there's no reason you don't want to be excessively building up heat. All right, this is hot ball. This isn't the best. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna ignore the ball and just go hunt people down. Now, hot ball is a fun. I, I, a lot of people bag on hot ball. The mechanism of a game for hot ball is clever. Like, look at this. Look at this arena. It's clever. This is a clever game. I like hot ball in general because when you have to organically come up with. Now, granted, it's sort of just capture the flag with passing and different rules but I mean it's a game that they had to come up with mechanics for or borrow Welcome mechanics to for put pit. together so Sentient it's fun beings. I think that di that Star Wars has the advantage of diversity for some of these games in entertainment. I would like to see uh, over to you, Baron I don't know if we'll ever see it but that'd be fun to get more PvP maps Imagine if they had like a 40 v 40 for something. And I don't know what it would look like. By draw. One ball, okay, what kind of costumes have I got? Grab the ball, throw the ball, get the ball over the opposing team's line any way you can, and your team gets a point. I always like how everybody Weapons. looks because everybody has di everybody has different taste. Encouraged. But some people like some people ball, are really powerful and they beat. just they're, they're wearing a Show robe. That's it, just Rodden one robe. That's all I need. Some people are just bare chested. They don't even need a robe. All right, so now look one. See, get rid of that. Get rid of that. That would have been a bug right there. I would have been doing. I would have been limp. That's how bad of damage I would. Have. All right, so I'm gonna try and get the damage buff first. Okay, we're playing hot ball. Dude, why is my FPS so high? Is it because I went full screen? I put it back to full screen this game and it like fixed everything. I'm just gonna go in. Okay. Oh, this guy, that's PvP. I recognize that guy. I gotta back out. There's a lot of heat right there. Wait, I'm gonna pull somebody over here. Oh, the the commando. The He's in the goo. Okay, I got four stacks again. Look. I gotta put some AoE. I'm gonna die right here. Every time, if you're gonna go down like that, you might as well pop some AoE. Best you can do. I don't know if we have a healer in this match. This match might be kind of rough. I got a little time till my cooldown comes back, so I'm just gonna be rail shotting. Match needs excitement. Let's mix it up. No! No! What do you think you're doing? Oh, he's immune! I think you can throw the grenade on him before oh, I throw it to- oh, No, no, I didn't throw it early! Oh, we're losing! No! I'm alive! Wait, 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 I see you over there, bro! I'm coming for you! <laughs> no! He's shooting me in the face with lightning! I, I should have thought this out. I don't have my cooldown. Okay. Sometimes you can get a little thick-headed, a little angry at things, get a little punchy. That's sort of my personality. But, I, and I also need, I'm not fully augmented. Oh, 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 oh. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. I got my cooldown back. 53k, come on! Come on, what do you got? This guy's a little tanky, I'm not gonna lie. Who's shooting me? 
No! Okay. So, win or, the way that I play is win or lose. Win or lose. Do the most damage as you can, and if you don't do the most damage, it's okay. This guy's just sitting up here. This is what a guardian can do, guys. Look at this. Oh no. The guy foiled my plan. Oh, they all did. Dude, we're getting our ass kicked. Get out of here, guys! They're gonna jump up to you! Stop that man! Oh, dude, operatives are the best football player. The best. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh! Dude, who is this guy that's shooting me?! Dude, this is a goddamn curb stomp. What is this game? Holy cow. Hey guys, did you want to see how the spec works? Let's go into a curb stomp game. Get out of here. There you go, huh? No. Oh. Dude, these mercenaries are really annoying. I should've made a- I should've made a mercenary video. There's two of them! Mom! No! Okay, so the the spec was working there though. You saw I was getting the uh, four stacks of power loads back. I'm literally taking the whole team by myself. Biggest hit was 55k. What the? How did he hit for 84k? Oh, the 84k is the hutball damage. I forgot about that. There's no 84,000 hit. The highest hit that I've had is on this power tech for 70,000. Holy cow. Maybe I should do one more game. Yeah, the highest hit that I've had in this whole game is 70,000 or in change. And it was on this power tech. So I think that the guy, the guy that I was fighting, he must have had a debuff or something. So I had Sunder and Retractable Blade is, uh, yeah, five, no, no, no. I thought it was 5% extra damage it puts on the target. Let's see. So Sunder. Rail shot ignores armor. I could have sworn it said something. Increases the damage you deal to bleeding targets. So, targets that are bleeding. Bleeding. But it doesn't actually say that I am doing 5% more damage. So it's not putting a debuff that makes them take 5% more damage, unless it's on this. No. <laughs> now they're sundered.
Okay. <clears throat> what kind of game we got? Yeah, this game, this game should be decent to show rotation. <clears throat> Alright. This will be the last game, win or lose. And then um, I'll post a video. And then I will also post probably a screenshot. Screen grab of the stack page and then the talents. Power tech's really fun. I will say, power tech's fun. You know, you get to look like a bounty hunter. I think, you know, Vanguard's, Vanguard would be the same thing if you want to be on the other side. But, I mean, look at this. You got one pistol? You're like a bounty hunter like Boba Fett? I mean... It's sweet! It doesn't get any better than that! The only thing better, or equal, one would argue, is that you can have a lightsaber. That's pretty cool. Dude, look at, how, look at how cool these guys look. This guy's got glowing eyes. Oh, PvE v PvP is on my team. He's good. I played, I, I've played. played a bunch with him on my... Well, I don't know him, but I, I was just much like this on my Guardian. Played with him. But this is a power tech video. This is not a Guardian video. I suppose I could make a Guardian video, but... Oh, look, get rid of that energy load. Get out of here. That's the buff. That's the bug. That would have given me much frustration. Much. So... Here we go. Here we go. Now for this one, you gotta ha you gotta hold two of them. I usually like to start in the middle. If I'm a stealth class, I'll go to the sides. Actually, because middle middle is gonna have like all the heat, so it's a good place to just get in there and duke it out. Some people go over to that right side. I'm gonna see if I can get the... I like to start off with the maximum damage I could possibly do. Look at that sniper guy right there. His mistake! Because usually you can't charge them. No, I'm just building up rail shots. Oh, I got four again, I got four again. Every time I get four. Now this is a tanky guy. I don't necessarily want to go on the tanky guy just yet. Maybe I'll go on this guy. Operate. Load up my shoulder rocket. Just keep going through the normal rotation. Rail shotting. You can use you can use energy load early. If you need to. Throw my grenade. I got four stacks. This guy's low. Keep rail shotting. Keep going through this. Simple rotation. Keep the heat low. Okay, now the cooldown's back up. Get on this guy with the cooldown. Stun him. Put the dot on him. Sunder. Rail shot. Grenade. Charge. Can't charge. Back. Dead. Woo! We're flying around. All right, let's get that. Are we gonna get three capped? We're gonna three cap them. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> See, you just gotta have a good rotation, and you three cap them. Let's go, bro. You didn't sit down fast enough. Oh, you resisted. It slows movement speed with that. Whoa. No. Use your line of sight every time you can to that advantage. Watch out, there's a sword right there. I gotta move over here. That was bad, that was bad. There's two swords. Might be bad. I'm just popping my full rotation. I'm gonna get four stacks real fast. I got 
one more off, but I got stunned. Two, two sorks is bad news. Boko, bad news. Boko Rotan. Just like that time in Boko Rotan. Where's that even from? I have like a, a warehouse of just useless movie quotes and information in my head. I grew up watching a lot of movies when I was a kid. I love movies. Movies lets your imagination... Well, not now. Now Hollywood is... God knows what's going on. But back in the 80s and the 90s, it actually let your imagination develop. What is this guy immune to? The AOE CC. I'm gonna try and jump out of the way and get over here. Oh, this guy, this guy, this guy. Screwed! I was gonna use my cooldown, but then I was gonna die. There was no point. Okay, it's the toughest battle is in mid. That's why I like going mid. Because right now, if you're occupying all these guys in mid, they're not going to the sides. They're not going to the sides to go retrieve our captures. So right now, we're dominating them. We're winning. So you can just keep going back middle. It doesn't matter. Popped all my cooldowns. Going all out. Oh, he healed. You're dead, bro! Get out of here! Yes! No! Let that man live! See, use your line of sight. You gotta lose the line of sight. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. That's how you stay alive longer. Because, look, you gotta reset. You can't let these guys... Look, I'm just standing behind here. You can't let those guys... And you can just keep circling. There isn't anything this guy could have done. That's a disadvantage of being ranged. Gotcha, bitch! I'm right above you! Woo! Okay, see, now I gotta kill this guy. I popped my cooldown again. Look how fast he's coming back. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh! Oh! Oh, you're just dust! I evaporated you! Did you see that? Okay, so what that was, was the cooldown. He was hitting me so rapid fire that it was just giving me four stacks of energy load immediately. So I popped, I just hit energy load twice and it, had, it was two back-to-back -back guaranteed critical hits at like 55,000 on that guy. That'll go higher too as I put more of my uh, augments in because I'm not fully augmented. Same damage rotation, same thing. So you're just, you're running up to him, you're hitting these three, that's it. Dot, Sunder, and then this is gonna build this. So this procs this. These three actually proc that. That's why you wanna do those three. All cooldown. Guaranteed crit. Now I didn't have Sunder and I didn't have the bleed on him, so it did less damage. All right, that's why it only did 30 something K. It'll go up to 50 something K once you get all of those, all the, all the things on there you need. Uh, he went immune. Watch out for that. How did they get all of the turrets? No! I'm only one man. I'm sitting here. I'm just trying to make a tutorial video. Grenade. I only have one stack. I only have one stack, but I'll use it. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It puts a dot on them too, so... Come on, bro. You're getting over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. Take it like a man. Real shot! <laughs> We're gonna... Dude, we need one to win. Come on, guys. Oh! Guy wasn't ready. 
I wasn't ready. Get back here. Nope, I can't do that. Can I charge? Okay, we got one. Thankfully. Slows movement. Every once in a while, it slows movement. I'm firing those rockets right now because that's my thumb button. I'm just laying her in. You got a lot of keybinds, you know what I'm saying? So. Grenade. I gotta get close. Oh, there we go. Reduce movement. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's lightning me like crazy. Grenade. Rock punch. Stab him with the shank. Magnetic blast and then rail shot because it rocked back up. So anytime that you do a shank and then a rocket punch and you see that rail shot didn't get proc, that's when you magnetic magnetic burst. And then that, cause six seconds, it'll be six seconds by the time that that passes. So I proc my power yield. If I could just get unrooted. Now I'm gonna switch to this guy. DC uh, this guy. Power yield's going right here again. Look at that. Again, again, again. Oh, he's resisting it all. There we go, he's dead. It was just back to back rocking that whole time. I'm gonna die probably from the sword. Pretty good. Pretty good. I still need my full set, and I'm not full augment. And that was a pretty pretty gnarly game, getting in there and duking it out. I don't have a healer. I'm solo queuing. 53,000, biggest hit. Yep. 53,000. Let's see if anybody beat me. So this guy right there, 55,000, 53,000. So I'm up there on the top highest hits. What about 54,000? Power tech's fun. All right, so I think uh, I think that about does it for this video. I'll post uh, I'll post screen grabs of the of the talents. And if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, and maybe I'll make if 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 you enjoy my PvP gameplay uh, for other classes, I can uh, I can always make another video. These are really easy to pop up and make. So thanks for joining. See you.